Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. This is Radhika here again and this video is going to be about how to handle rage and anger after narcissistic abuse. Um, so let's talk about rage first. So rage is a, an extreme form of anger and uh, you know you can you can think about rage as uh, a mixture of fermented emotions you know it's not just anger rage also has some other emotions in it so rage can also come out of helplessness or uh, a feeling of betrayal or a feeling of being left out or um, even sadness can sometimes turn into rage when given the right triggers um, so yeah so just when you think of rage think of it as a lot of fermented emotions uh, a lot of emotions that have been bottled up for a long time that have been repressed uh, so how you can think about this is uh, think about a fermented drink you know like if you take a kombucha or beer or a, you know like a wine champagne bottle anything that has been fermented and you shake it and then you open it you know how it just comes out it bursts out it's kind of similar rage is similar to that and if you're an indian you would know like we make idli dosa at home and those are like fermented uh, they're made out of fermented rice and urad dal and all that so if you keep it closed for a long time and if you let it ferment the mixture actually flows out of the vessel because you know the fermentation increases the volume of the mixture so much that it actually overflows um, so that's what rage is rage is emotions that are literally overflowing from a person and uh, when rage happens uh, it just happens you know like that person can burst anywhere on anyone at anything and there is there is very little aspect of control over the emotion of rage uh, because it's it's just like that it's very spontaneous it's a burst of emotion um so yeah uh, when rage comes just accept it you know accept the rage and uh, understand that these are emotions you have repressed for a long time for whatever reason uh, there was and they will come up and if you have raged on someone uh, when they maybe deserved it or maybe didn't deserve it or maybe they deserve deserved a little bit of it but you gave it gave back a lot more um, and maybe in an untimely way you gave it back to them so it's okay it happens because we all are humans and uh, just go later and apologize to that person you know if they deserve an apology so situations vary you know people people have road rage where they are raging at a complete stranger because of no reason it's just that uh, they get a trigger for that rage to kind of come out of them and uh, you know you can you might rage at a co-worker at a friend at someone totally uh, unrelated to the situation or you might rage on someone in the situation in that case like it's your call if you want to apologize apologize or not but what i'm saying is if you rage at someone just let it it's okay it happened because you have a lot of emotion in you and it came out maybe at the wrong moment at the wrong time at the wrong person just go and apologize and explain to them that i'm sorry i didn't mean it and whatever uh, and it will be fine you know that's that's when you apologize and you really feel sorry for it your job there is done and um yeah so i i i hear from a lot of clients that they are going through this stage right now where they are raging on anyone and everyone and everything is making them angry and uh, uh, they, they're throwing things and they feel like I'm not acting like myself I feel like hitting people and that's okay that's a phase you're going through that's not who you are uh, so to kind of prevent that sort of behavior uh, 
there are some steps that you can take and the good thing in all of this is that you are realizing that you are at that stage in your uh, recovery and that's the big part of it that you are realizing okay i am raging i am feeling these heavy emotions that just spontaneously come out of me and they just want to latch on to any person and anyone in in and around my space so that's good that's you releasing a lot of energy you know but uh, we don't want to release it in a bad way so that our rage becomes unhealed emotion in someone else so if you uh, are asking you know if you want ways to uh, use your rage in a good way first of all that's amazing because uh, you have realized that you have to solve this thing and uh, that's that itself i think is a great achievement if you are at that point um so yeah so some preventing preventive activities that you can do so that this raging phase it gets over and it does get over um very soon uh what you can do is you can scream or yell whenever you are in that rage phase but do it in an empty space do it in an empty room do it in a closed car because realize that these emotions want to come out and don't make someone the receiver of these emotions just do it out in the universe you know now that it has come this energy wants to get released don't attach a subject to it you know don't don't put it on an object or a subject just do it out in the space uh so that you know you don't put unhealed emotion on other people uh then other things you can do is uh you can go to a lake or a river and you can throw stones in the lake and the river with all your might and um uh we do this a lot for my son who's a fire sign and he's full of fire and uh he has extreme amounts of energy so when a person has like too much of energy you need to channelize that in a good way and that's what rage is it's energy in your body that wants to get channelized so when uh when he is like very uh you know what do you say uh hyperactive or overactive we take him near a lake or a river and he he can spend like hours throwing stones in the river and that really cools him down because it's a lot of activity and you have that action of throwing something which really releases a lot of energy um other things you can do is like martial arts kickboxing cardio exercise fast paced dance zumba so all of these activities will help you transmute that rage you know that you are feeling inside your system um so yeah that was about rage now after rage comes anger so i have seen in my own experience and in the experience of, of a lot of my clients that first comes the rage then the rage kind of subsides and then comes the anger okay and this anger is actually not all bad it's a good emotion if you know how to use it or if you know how to work with it you know so anger comes up and uh, you might find yourself having like revenge fantasies against this narcissistic person against the flying monkeys or you have like fantasies where someone is trying to push you knock you out and you are standing up for yourself like hero kind of fantasies like things you wish you could have done in the past which you did not but now your inner psyche is kind of prepping you for that so if you are having these kind of fantasies and dreams etc what this is doing is your higher self is preparing you for the next version of you which is a version who will stand up for his or her boundaries who will not take bullshit who will you know always kind of um stop someone before they do damage you know that's the main part before they do damage so these are actually super good signs and i i hear this also from a lot of my clients that when this phase comes they feel like it's it's a little crazy making feeling that you know you're thinking about this so much and you might feel like have i got a mental disorder or you might think that um uh why am i thinking this i have to be a good person you know i don't want revenge fantasies and this and that but that's okay 
uh, you don't have to like go out and seek revenge uh, it's more like a, a higher version of you is preparing you um, for how you are going to be in the future so you are always going to uphold your boundaries etc so it's actually your manipur chakra which is your solar plexus chakra which is re which represents the fire element in you so it's balancing itself you are coming out of the victimhood out of the victim mode and you are going into this empowered mode where you are more in charge of your own sense of self your own self respect and so when someone crosses your boundaries now you have that discretion that i need to stop this person because now you know your own worth so that's where it's it feels like anger but actually it's it's a little bit uh it's a little bit bounding on self respect and boundaries you know and it might feel like anger because it's it's still a little bit mixed with the past uh but slowly when you let this process happen um your manipur chakra will balance itself and the fire that you have within you it's coming back up again um so yeah so now you just have to make a decision to use this anger wisely you know don't waste your energy in trying to be not angry and don't hate the anger don't feel like i need to be a good person all the time i can't feel angry anger is a bad emotion um what you can do is you can make friends with your anger you can channelize it so every time you feel angry just notice and tell yourself oh i'm i'm feeling angry again you know i'm feeling really angry i feel like yelling at this person i feel like hitting this person i feel like throwing this thing i feel like throwing my phone just tell yourself those things and then just tell yourself that uh but maybe i should use this anger wisely so how do you use it wisely so use it in your this this really varies from person to person if you are angry about something you can express those feelings in a poem that's what i used to do uh you can work out so sometimes like i used to go out for a jog whenever i felt angry uh make a determination make a plan set an intention because this is a very good time to do that you know when your fire is starting back up it's an amazing time to be inspired and find an activity find an intention uh find an aim that you want to achieve in life and basically use this fire that you are feeling because whatever the reason for it is when it comes up you use it for your own good so you use it to set an aim set an intention make a plan and then follow through on it so let your anger burn inside you slowly and steadily don't rage and burn it out you know like if you suppress your anger again it will again turn into rage so don't suppress it this time channelize it you know channelize it towards something good that is going to help you so um that's all i wanted to say in this video and whoever is going through this phase in their uh healing or recovery i wish you all all the best and i hope this helps you if you have found out some other ways in which um you work with your anger and rage please do write them down in the comments below because it will help other people who are reading this um so yeah anger is your friend use it wisely and it will definitely help you a lot in your life um so yeah please do like share subscribe these videos if you like them and as always i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye